Hey everyone, it's Jack and Sam from Cultaholic.com and we are here with our predictions for New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Style Evolved which is taking place this Sunday. 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 Sunday! There's no Rey Mysterio though. There's no Rey Mysterio but we do have a replacement and we've got nine matches to choose from. To be honest, I'm just glad that we uh, we have a card because for, for much oh, of the Christ, week... Oh Christ, yeah, it was scary. They had three matches. Like, we were going to have to start making predictions on like, who's going to get the first pinfall attempt? What kind of tights is so-and-so going to wear? <laughs> um, but we do have nine matches now to predict. I think it's nine. Um, and if, I forgot to mention it, of course, takes place in Long Beach, California, which means that we've got some American-themed punishments oh. which have been voted on by our lovely patrons over yes. at patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. Do we have a winner in the vote? Um, so, let's take him in order. Okay. So, as always, we had chops. This time it was California chops, and everybody's going, what's a California chops? You'll just, never know. It's just You'll never know now. <laughs> They'll never know. It could have been chops with California rolls. It could have been anything. Could have been anything. chops in California. Yeah. The next one was pretty bad. I'm sort of... Glad that I don't have to humiliate myself if I did lose okay. quite as badly. The next one was um, to sing the American national anthem in public. I in think it was five, in five different places. That one's that was not one. No, that's the one that I kind of wanted to win. Yeah, because the next one's gross. Because it is, and I'm more it's absolutely I'm, gross. I'm better at humiliation than I am. Cons- I cons- like, I what's can't... it? Constitution. Like yeah, I haven't got an iron constitution now. No. I'm really bad with like very badly textured foods. Oh, it's going to be so, bad, yeah. Yeah, so the winner is uh, a blended three-course American meal complete with dessert and drink. Yeehaw. Yeah. Oh, say can you say... Oh, it's going to be so bad. <laughs> oh, right, we... right, let's yeah, crack okay. on. Oh, sorry, I did that before. I thought we'd just cut oh, off. Oh, right, ruining everything. Uh, so the first match, or the, the kind of the lowest match on the card that's been announced, is uh, a six-man non-title tag match because one of the teams are the Ring of Honor six-man champions. Uh, it's the team of Rapongi 3K, Sho and Yo, and their spiritual guide, Rocky Romero. I don't know. Is, what he, I'm is that. he wrestling with them? He's wrestling with them. It's a six-man. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. he's back against uh, the team of Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, best buddies, and a man who I don't know much about named Scorpio Sky. He was apparently one of the trainers in the dojo, the New Japan really? California dojo. Over okay. there. Uh, and they are collectively known as SoCal Uncensored, which Matthew told us on the fan chat last night on Discord. On Patreon. On Patreon.com. Yeah. That, um, that, that's the name of a website that's been around for years and they've just nicked it for their own <laughs> tag team name. But anyway, oh well. who have you got and why? Uh, I've got my boys. My boys, Rapongi 3K. Yeah. I think they they want to sort of come back all fired up and they want to have this big, you know, push to make them big stars again, uh, well, again, but like maybe for the first time make them really big in a good story in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you know, I just I just like them. I mm-hmm. like them. I'm just gonna vote for them because I like them. And Rocky's a good lad as Rocky's well. Rocky's a great lad. Yeah. Love Rocky. Um, I'm also gonna go for for them. Uh, I think the fact that it's non-title kind of yeah. means that they could win and feasibly win because they don't they're not they, taking they, they the they ring of honor a show of dominance yeah. that's that's yeah that's what i think um, i think it'll be really good because daniels is in the match and he's great um, it would be weird if they took the ring of honor belts it's like you got to go back to america now <laughs> yeah uh, oh yeah cuz they were in ring of honor of course <laughs> but um yeah they're back on their i guess their old patch when they went on excursion in the states yeah. and um yeah i agree i think they're going to win too probably 3k because they lost at wrestle kingdom um, I got that wrong, you got that right, the yep. Young Bucks beat them, but then, quicker than I think both of us imagined, they got their revenge and they beat the Young Bucks pretty mm-hmm. quickly afterwards, so um, I think they're going to carry on this head of steam, and I think the first first match will go to Rapongi 3K and Rocky, Rocky Romero. Is it going to be another tie, Jack? Are we going to have to both have a I'd, horrible blended three-course meal? I hope not, <laughs> I really hope not. So the next match is Gado and Goto versus Juice Robinson and Finley. Who have you got? And why? Finley loves to fight. We all know that. It's not that Finley. <laughs> David, um, I've got... He's sort of that Finley. He is sort of that sort Finley, of, yeah. a little bit. Um, I've got I've got David Finley and Juice Robinson. It's a difficult one to call because there's both men in that match who could easily take a pinfall in Gato and Finley. Yeah. So it's just a case of who do they want to push more. And, uh, like, Goto had that great match with Suzuki at Wrestle Kingdom. So good. And is just, like, a great servant in New yeah. Japan. But Juice is, like, a fiery up-and-comer and is getting really over there with the crowd. Yeah. Like, they love him way more than they did in NXT. Yeah. Um, and he's, he's he seems really fired up. He seems to really found his feet in Japan. He loved a bit of commentary. He was commentating on the New Japan final. Kept referring to Tanahashi as a big mother trucker. Mother truckers, <laughs> yeah. yes. Um, which I think was a PS2 game. 
Remember that? Bad Mother Truck. <laughs> actually, it was, yeah. That was a sequel as well. <clears throat> oh, yeah. right. Um, but I'm going to go for Juice and Finley. I think that they're going to continue Juice's rise. Um, yeah. He had a good match in the New Japan Cup against Tanahashi, which he lost. But it's Tanahashi, so that doesn't really bury him at all because it's, yeah. it's like losing to Cena. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I just think they're really behind him. And even though Godo is the more established star, I think they might use this as an opportunity to push him. But I don't think that Godo will take the pinfall. I think that's why Gato's there. But who have you yeah. got and why? Uh, pretty much echoing your sentiments on Juice Robinson. I uh, You quite like Juice, I, I don't like you? I like Juice Robinson. Mm. I think he's great. Um, I really want to see him take the IC belt at some point. So I'm hoping that there's just this sort of meteoric rise for him. He loves working in Japan. Japan loves him. Mm. So... Yeah, I want Juice to win. Fair play. And I want him to get the pinfall. And if he doesn't, I'm going to be very, very disappointed in you, Juice. Very disappointed. You better get the pinfall. All right, okay. The next match could be anything. It could be comedy. It could be a brutal beatdown. It's um, Chuck Taylor and Toru Yano, who are... Well, Yano's chaos and Chuck Taylor seems to have just... <laughs> just, on, just sailed around it. Just yeah. got in there because of Trent Barretta, who is now injured. But um, it's them versus the former IWGP Tag Team Champions, Davey Boy Smith Jr., the son of the British Bulldog, and his friend, Lance Archer, his the best killer buddy. Elite squad. Killer Elite yeah. Squad. Um, who lost the titles to LIJ at Wrestle Kingdom, but looked quite big and menacing in the process still. Yeah. So they've still got a lot of menace behind them. Mm. But um, then again, Yano and Chuck Taylor are chaos. And then Yano can always pull out sneaky wins out of nowhere with his own brand of wrestling hijinks and so can Chuck Taylor yeah so um, it's a risk but I've gone for Davy Boy Smith Jr and Lance Archer just because Yano oh, Yano it's hard to, it's like a coin flip because Yano yeah. can sometimes be treated like an absolute jobber and sometimes he can you can get wins over guys <laughs> like you can get wins over guys like I remember he beat Shibata one year in yeah. like the G1 and stuff to even out the points they often yeah. use him in the G1 to even out the points because he can just get a roll up he's sort of like a wild card wrestler yeah yeah, yeah. and I don't want to compare, he's a bit like Santino Morella, but with more wins. Like, he's a comedy yeah, guy, it's but... it's like Santino booked right. Yes. Yeah. And and he's just quite funny as well, isn't he? And Chuck Taylor is, you know, he's building up a head of steam I in just, his career. I just want to come out with his little DVDs. <laughs> just, you know, use them in the match, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, Chuck Taylor has built up a big head of steam in his career so far, an unlikely head of steam, because uh, he tweeted Daniel Bryan recently. And he yes, said, I did see that. He said, look... Daniel, I know you're coming back, but I'm in Ring of Honor now, and I'm also in New Japan, and I'm the PWG champion. You need to come back and save the Indies. It's all gone to hell. <laughs> Which I know is quite funny. <laughs> but um, no, I've gone for the big, the big heel boys because I just, I just think it'll be kind of a, a crushing heel win to yeah. really sap the life out of the crowd. No, I just think they want to re-establish them as big, dominant guys. Yeah, I think they're, they're just sort of floating at the minute, aren't they? They're a little bit lost. But I don't know whether it's better to give them a win or whether to just continue that streak until it becomes either unbearable or just like they get this huge upset victory. Okay. Um, that's why I've gone for Yano. Um, right, Yeah. And Chuck Taylor. Yano and Taylor. <clears throat> Chuck Taylor's on fire, as you said, right now. Um, but I, I just love Toru Yano. Yeah. I, I just love him. He's great. He's a good laugh. Yeah. He's going to get a roll-up, isn't he, at some point? Yes. <laughs> and he's going to look in the camera and yeah. go, Jack, you're drinking a blended meal, mate. Yeah, he's going to do his little cheeky wink and he's going to shake his head at you. So the next match on the card is the Gorillas of Destiny, which is Tamatonga and Tangaroa versus Cody Rhodes, which is Cody actually, and Marty Skull. Mm. Who have you got? I've got. And why? Mm. Do this every mm. time. You've got to learn. Just mm. wait, wait, wait. Who you got? I've got uh, Cody and Marty Skull. Um, although I'd like to see the Gorillas of Destiny pick up the win actually because mm. I feel quite bad for them because they've been pushed to the periphery a little bit they've just not really been capitalised on I think in this sort of the Bullet Club feud they've and been, it's a shame because they're both great they've been doing the occasional tweet or making the occasional promo about we are the origi we are the OG Bullet Club yeah. guys <clears throat> they've been there longer than I think anyone else in the Bullet Club even the Bucks maybe but um, yeah because they were there at the start with like Bala and Farley oh, yeah, and yeah. Um, and the club you know yeah. um, Anderson, Dallas and Anderson, Anderson yeah. yeah. But um, I, I don't think they're going to win, though. I think that Cody and Marty are too over right now, and if they lose, it takes away too much of their standing in the whole rivalry with Kenny Omega and Ibushi, so I think they need to keep both sides of it strong. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go for Cody and Skull, but that's that's uh, head over heart, because I, I do I would like to see the Gorillas of Destiny yeah. pick up a win. It's not like there's anybody that can really interfere with the match, either, on Gorillas of Destiny's behalf, and with Ooh. them not really being a big part of the feud, it just... 
Unless Farley strides out again. <laughs> just, just has a slow walk down. Yeah. Takes care of business. Yeah. No, I, I'm going to have to side with you on, you know, Cody and Marty are far too over right now and far too central to the feud to yeah. lose. Unless by some miracle somebody costs them. But I don't think you're going to send out the guys that are on much later in the night that early to sort of interfere. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have to go out of sort of necessity, I guess. As much as I'd like to see Gorillas of Destiny, I'll have to go with Car- uh, Cardi? Cardi. Cardi. Cardi Scrooge. Cardi Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> the next match is an eight man tag team match between the baby faces, which consist of Tanahashi, Kushida, Dragon Lee, and Raisuki Taguchi. I've called them Team Babyface, but sometimes when guys come together under Taguchi's banner, it's Taguchi, Taguchi Japan, Japan yeah. against uh, four members of Los Ingobernables de Japón which is, uh, Evil's not there because he's, he's out recovering from his orbital bone fracture. But we've got big big Naito, the leader, we've got Takahashi, and we've got Bushi and Sonata. So uh, who have you got and why? L.I.J. Right. I just think that they need, uh, the Bullet Club feud sort of dominating everything at the minute, and I think they just need to keep bubbling away with L.I.J. Mm. Um, I don't want to see L.I.J. ever sort of stagnate or be at sort of a loss or like at wit's end, but... And it's Taguchi, I think we're going to get a great match, mm. but I think again, it, it sort of, you can, he can sort of suffer a loss without it being that much of a big deal for him, I think. Okay. Whereas if LIJ were to lose to Taguchi, unless they're going to set up some sort of like major feud, I, I don't know, but I, I personally see LIJ taking that. What about you? Well, I've <clears throat> I've taken a bit of a risk because um, I really like LIJ and I, I think that, you know, they're they're my favourite stable in New Japan, yeah. but I've gone for Taguchi Japan just because um, Naido hasn't really won a lot since he lost at Wrestle Kingdom. Well, that's the thing, he's sort of been floating around waiting for Jericho, he's, hasn't he? Yes, and also I think they might try to be doing a storyline where he's lost his confidence a bit and he's going to get yeah. it back at some point. But I don't know if that'll carry over. But that's been in singles matches. He lost to Zack Sabre Jr. in the first yeah. round of the New Japan Cup, but I don't know if that'll carry over to Moldy Man matches. He could still lose his confidence and maybe not be able to do something or not quite get the job done, and then it's yeah. teammate has to take care I of I don't think he'll take the pinfall. Yeah. I think, because there's always guys in these big New Japan tag matches, there's always guys on both sides who could plausibly take a pinfall. Yeah. Like, we don't see Dragon Lee a lot. And he's a junior, so you can buy Naito like crushing him. Yeah. Or on the other side, you can see Bushi getting hit with a high fly flow from Tanahashi or mm. something. Like that. But um, it, again, it's a bit of a toss up. But I've gone. I think it's quite a risk. But I've gone for Taguchi Japan or Team Baby Fat, just because. Team Baby Fat. T- yes. Just because um, I want to see how far this Naito slide goes before he gets his mojo yeah. back, his mojo rolling back. Should be a shame. That's a tag team I don't want to think about. <laughs> Next up is the match I am most excited about on okay. this card. Uh, I think it's going to be match of the night. It is Jushin Thunder Liger versus not Rey Mysterio. He's versus Will Ospreay. Good replacement. In his replacement. So, yeah. I mean, it's just going to be the the best match. Okay. I think it's just going to be amazing. Liger can still go. Uh, Osprey is just the best. So, I mean, you've got two of the best Super Juniors in history Mm -hmm. guaranteed like they're both going to go down as two of the greatest so I I, I, I don't know but for me in fact I'll let you go first who you got well sometimes in matches where someone has to drop out at the last minute um, the person who was always in the match kind of picks up the win Um, I think we saw that when uh, when Bala faced AJ Styles and beat him yeah um, when Styles came over to Raw but I think they're going to I thought Mysterio was going to win the match before he had to drop out and now I think they're going to Still have Liger lose, so I'm going for Will Ospreay. Yeah. Just because Ospreay's on too much of a roll, and he's too important to them right now. Yeah. Um, he can't lose to Liger, as respected and as great as Liger is. Yeah. I think even Liger, especially Liger himself, would agree that him winning right now isn't the right call. Yeah, and obviously um, Ospreay's junior heavyweight champ. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I think yeah. for me it's Osprey, but just because I think Liger understands that, like as as one of the most pioneering super juniors of all time, I think he understands that you have to sort of be able to give back. Yeah. Um, so I, I I don't see anybody but Osprey taking this one, but I think the match is going to be incredibly hard for and just, I want to see Liger bust some stuff out that he hasn't in a while as well. <clears throat> It'll be great. Mm. So we agree on that one. Both yep. gone for Willington Osprey. Next up, a big tag match pitting members of Chaos against members of Suzuki Gun. Uh, it's Kazuchika Okada and Tomohiro Ishii against Zack Sabre Jr. and Minoru Suzuki. All four guys at the minute 
could plausibly win in the match. Like yeah. you know, Zack Sabre Jr. especially has been on a roll. An absolute roll, yeah. He's won the, the New Japan Cup. Suzuki is still as fierce as ever and holds the Intercontinental Belt currently. But then on the other side, you've got Okada, who isn't losing to anyone right now. And you've got Ishii, who whenever he loses, it's a big deal. Yeah. So I don't really know who's going to take the pin for in this one. Uh, but who have yeah. you got and why? <clears throat> well... As you know, mm-hmm. I am a big fan, very big fan of Tomohiro Ishii. Yes. I think he is the perfect wrestler. I think if you were ever on a night out, you'd want to go on a night out with Ishii because nobody's going to mess with you. Yeah. I like. I really just want to be his friend. Ishii, if you're watching this, <laughs> can you just please like come come and just hang out with me for a bit? It'd be great. But realistically, um, I just don't see Okada losing. I can see Ishii eating the pin, but it'll be a very big deal. I mean... It's Suzuki Gun, so there might be some cheating involved, but I just got a feeling, just a small feeling, that Okada and I mean, Ishii are gonna win. I don't think that Okada could pin Zack, but I think Okada. It sounds stupid, but I think Okada could pin Suzuki because yeah, he's the he's bigger the, champion. Yeah, yeah. So Suzuki's a lesser champion, but then that's a huge deal. It is a huge um, deal. Uh, so yeah I, oh, it's such a hard one to call but I think I'm going to go with Chaos right um, it is a really hard one to call it's one of the ones I couldn't really decide but I'm going to go the other way Yeah, go for Suzuki Gun purely because uh, Zach's just won the New Japan Cup and if they do lose I can't see it being him taking the fall um, there's still a risk that as I said Suzuki might take the fall Yeah, but I think we might see Zach he can't that's the thing, that's why I couldn't decide, because I thought, well, <laughs> obviously Zack's not going to submit Okada, but he could submit Ishii, and then I thought, yeah. he's not going to submit Ishii. The so thing like, is, it could end by stopping, <clears throat> like, yeah, if Zack yeah. locks something in and, and destroys somebody's arm or leg or something, like, there's so many different ways, yeah. and so many different styles in this match, Yeah. that, I mean, you've got, like, striking, like, the best striker going, you've got the best submission guy in the yeah. world, you've got Japanese John Cena, Yeah. and you've got, like, an absolute powerhouse, so it, it's just... Oh, it's just going to be a great match. Yeah, well, I've gone for Suzuki Gun, and you've gone for Chaos. Yeah, it's going to be. If the scores are level going in that one, it's going to be intense. <laughs> <laughs> and the next match on the card is Jay White, the United States Champion, mm-hmm. against Hangman Page. Who you got, why? Um, Jay White. I don't. I, his reign hasn't been. <clears throat> well, it's been longer than you think, actually, but it hasn't been that long. Yeah, it's been a couple of months, and he hasn't really had a chance yet to show what he can do. Yeah, he's coming for a lot of criticism, a lot of it, I think, undue. Yeah, I don't get that. Uh, it's, there hasn't really been a lot of time to showcase him yet. Probably. No, and he's still like insanely young. I think he's our age. Yeah, and um, and he wasn't. He, it wasn't long since he was a young lion. Yeah. So he's. I mean, you see footage of him as a young lion all the time mm-hmm. in old matches. So I think he's going to win. Um, I think it'll be a good match because Paige has been like in the form of his career recently. He's been doing some insane spots with the Young Bucks and stuff like that. Yeah. But I don't think he's gonna win the title. I don't. I mean, he, he barely appears in New Japan anymore anyway, really. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with Jay White. But who've you got and why? Jay White. Yeah. For pretty much the same reasons. I think you can't take the belt off him this quickly, especially such a new belt that you want to sort of build a little bit of lineage and prestige to. Mm. But I think you know they've invested all this time and effort in him as a young lion. And they've put the belt on him and they trust him enough to carry the belt. Mm. And, you know, people may complain, but I, I've not personally seen a fault with it so far. I'd just like to see it continue. See, yeah. what, see what Jay White can do. Fair play. And finally, the main event, or the match that we presume is going to be the main event. Uh, Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi, the Golden Lovers, versus the Young Bucks. Who have you got and why? I have got the Golden Lovers. Right. The more four. Because... Uh, I think it's another hard one, because, like... Everybody involved earlier in the night can come out and interfere mm. on Kenny's behalf or the book's behalf. Like, uh, I don't really know, but I think they've put the Golden Lovers back together. I, uh, I just, I've got a feeling they're going to continue that tag team for a while. I think what we're going to see with that is eventual yeah. feud between them. Right. But I think, you know, they've put them back together you may as well give him a win. I think even if there's interference, if Kenny goes over, save it to interference on Cody's behalf. I think we'll see Cody, definitely. Yeah, and Kenny goes over, then I think you, you're building that rivalry even further up to wherever they're going to have the big blow-off. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I just don't see why they would give the win to the Bucks when they've put uh, Golden Lovers back together. Yeah. 
I can't really <clears throat> I can't really see Omega or Ibushi taking a pinfall at this stage. Yeah. Like Ibushi lost recently to Zack, which was a huge upset. Yeah. But um I I can't see either of them taking a fall to to the books as well. A lot has been made of their move to heavyweight and their heavyweights now. Yeah. But um I, I think there'll be some insane stuff and there'll be some really weird like I think there'll be big spots and big storyline stuff a as well. Crazy match. Yeah, it's like gonna be ridiculous. off the charts. But right? um yeah, I agree. I can't see anyone but Omega and Ibushi taking them. Yeah. But I do think Cody'll try try to shift things. In yeah. The team's favor, but yeah. So that's all of our predictions for New Japan Pro Wrestling's Strong Style Evolve this Sunday uh, on New Japan World. If you want to watch it, uh, we'll be recording our reactions to go out shortly after the event, and um, I think it's going to be a really good show. Yeah, I mean uh, it's the second, well, third, I guess, but second biggest like big show in the US. Yeah. So and it's inside a huge pyramid. We, we saw the pyramid. Out. Yeah, that's uh, exciting. Yeah, you know, they, they really want to build this the US leg of New Japan, so they They've have got to the keep dojo. Just consistently hitting it out of the park. They've mm. got the dojo now, where Shibata is head trainer. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I think, you know, it can't not be a good show. Yeah, I think it's going to be something really good. there for everybody. And then shortly after that, of course, we will also be covering Sakura Genesis, and then it's Mania weekend, so it's busy. It's busy uh, time. <laughs> it's busy. But we love wrestling! We love it! Yes! Um, you can follow us on Twitter, I'm Jack the Jobber, on Twitter, I'm Jack the Jobber, he is at Lester Find. Our Patreon is patreon.com forward slash cultaholic, and never forget to join us.